Hello, everybody. Welcome to Glaze's Geezer Garage. Today's episode, we're going to do more on the rockers. We're going to actually get those, get the body all set, or I should say the, the birdcage all set on the stock chassis that we, we use for setting up things. I'm going to tack weld the rockers on. Then I'm going to get to work on this uh, window frame. Uh, that's, a, that's a challenge, but we're going to do that. I wanted to get more accomplished before I release this video, but things don't move as well as they should sometimes. So bear with me, guys. I'm sorry I skipped last week's, but I hope the content on this week's is uh, good for you. So thanks again and hope you enjoy it. Okay, folks, going to remove that right side rocker, passenger side, laid it upside down, matched it to this one as far as the location. Then I'm going to mock where these stock side mortar mounts were so I can get those welded onto this unit. So let's get started. Okay, I'm laying this out. Um, what's difficult is some of these old ones, they bent them out of the way. So I have taken a couple of them, these two, these two, straight as much as I could to simulate the original. Then I measured from here up to get a dimension. And matching that, you know, you would think you could just clamp these in, but the reproduction parts are nice, but they're not perfect. So uh, I'm making sure everything is the same height from this flange here to the mounting part. I actually pulled out one of the old moldings and checked the location. Everything seems to be lining up with a little bit of tweaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out. Then I'm gonna shoot the, these parts on the underside and in between where I'm gonna weld it with the self-etching weldable primer. Try to get some paint between these because you can see here what happens. And there's no paint between them. They just, everything rusts in between. So I'm gonna try to do this right. Okay, I got my rocker molding brackets all painted with weld through primer. And I got my rocker, my new rocker, painted with weld through primer, self etching weld through primer. I also have the driver's side one coated wherever I'm gonna attach the brackets. So let's start lining these things up. Okay, everybody, I'm out here. This morning, I started to weld these brackets on for the side uh, rocker moldings. Uh, wasn't really getting a good weld. I couldn't figure out why. I uh, started reading a little bit more about weld through primer. And I put it on pretty heavy. And if you put it on pretty heavy, it uh, doesn't work as well. So I... Also ran out of welding wire. So I've loaded up my 250 amp MIG welder with new wire. I can, you can see here, I've kind of wire brushed off the, some of the uh, weld through self etching primer. So I'm gonna make an attempt at this. I may take a couple practice welds to make sure I got my machine set right, but let's get going this morning. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm laying out the driver side or the left side rocker uh, molding brackets, just lining up the old one and measuring each bracket and just copying the height from this flange to here 
and the distance from the front to back and go from there. So looks good. Keep working at it. And then I'll tack weld all these, make sure they're in the right spot and then weld them. Okay, as you can see here, I have all the uh, rocker molding brackets lined up. Uh, I have them positioned correctly left to right and between each other. The height is a little off, but I'm going to go ahead and tack weld this side first and then adjust the height and weld those. Well, let's get started. What I'm going to do now is finish welding this patch piece in. Come down here, across this seam here, get that tight. Uh, spot weld this here. And then I'm ready to stick this rocker in. Well, everybody, it looks like I'm ready to go ahead and tack this birdcage together. All my repairs, if you look real close. I got the frame bolted on. I got things shimmed a little bit. Um, Got these repairs welded on. Everything seems to line up. What I'm going to do is go ahead and um, just do a tack weld in a few places on each side at the lock pillar and at the hinge pillar here. And then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna replace this lower outer windshield frame and the inner one. And if you look real close, some rust, there was rust on those uh, particular pieces that go up the windshield column. I'm going to replace part of those. I'm going to weld in place this brace here that goes across the hinge pillars and this brace here that's going to go across and connect um, the windshield pillars. I just don't want any of this to move uh, when I'm replacing this. So. Mm -hmm. Might be a little over cautious, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's get to welding and replacing. So I cut the piece out. I decided to cut it here and then go ahead and work on the spot welds underneath here. I went ahead and tack welded this this uh, back end after I patched the hinge pillar cap. Uh, I did that to strengthen this. It was pretty weak without that on there. So I popped that back in there. Okay, so I took out the old rusted lower outer windshield frame, clamped the new one in. It looks good. A little bit of trimming. Uh, these parts are perfect, but that's okay. You can see here, this is a little higher. I'll just grind this down, even with the stock one. Probably taper that back a little bit. It looks a little high right here. Taper that back and then... Uh, yeah, go from there. 
but uh, yeah part fit up pretty nice i may go ahead and sandblast that piece because i know that this type of coating it doesn't really take paint well so i may just throw that over here in my sandblast cabinet and go ahead and glass bead this whole piece before i put it in and go from there okay i've sandblasted the new windshield frame lower outer but before i spot load that in place i'm going to go ahead and i grinded this underneath here grinded most of the rust off do the same thing on the other side here try to grind most of the rust off i'm going to go ahead and seal that with rust oleum uh rust convert and then when i drill the spot welds I'll clean that rust convert off to bare metal at those spot weld points, and then I will weld them. Just trying to keep the rust capsulated. Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, I'm out here. I got everything kind of roughly fitted up. I'd say more than roughly, pretty accurate. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some measuring to make sure I have the inner panel and the outer panel spaced correctly left, or I should say right to left. And I'm going to do that by measuring the holes on the dash on the first, from first to second hole. If you look over here, this dash has to bolt in. And the bolt that goes here is on a different piece on the window frame than this one. So if I measure from center to center and I get those right over here, which are, if you look real close, between this one and this one, then I should be pretty accurate. I went ahead and put the dash, stuck it in there to make sure the holes line up. The two end ones are a little tight, but uh, we'll make them work. I'm not sure why, because I'm all the way up as far as I can go right here. I can't move this up any further to get this hole to line up better. But it'll make it, it's just very tight squeeze. So I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna get the dash out of there, make my marks, drill my spot weld holes, spot weld holes, and uh, probably blast this plating off here because that really doesn't hold paint good. Uh, and then go from there. So let's keep moving along. First thing I'm gonna do is weld this outer lower window frame in. And you see my holes for my spot welds there. Uh, once I get that in, I have to do the same thing to this side I did over there. I have a few pinholes down here. I wanna replace this metal. So I'll be cutting this up here, cut the patch out fix the rust and then put this, weld this patch back in like I did here on the other side. I'm not finished welding this side yet, but it's spot welded in. So I'm gonna cut it like this, just like I did this one and then grind it all, blend it all in. So let's, uh, let's spot weld this lower outer windshield bracket in. So cut this piece out. As you can see, there's a couple little pin holes. I didn't want that in there, so I cut it out to solid stuff. And I fabricated a new piece to slide in there. I'm gonna let it cool off 
There's the new piece right there, fabricated that piece to go in there. I think I'm gonna call it a day. I was trying to get more accomplished for you guys. Uh, I did get the lower outer window frame uh, spot welded in at least to the two side arms. Um, getting this bit patched back in, I gotta, uh, gotta blend all those welds back out. But uh, yeah, things are coming good. Uh, you should see this in my video this week, so. Okay, thanks for watching this episode of Glazes Geezer Garage. Remember, like, subscribe, and share. We really appreciate that. It helps us out. Uh, our channel's growing. Uh, we would like to grow more, but uh, things are going good, and I hope the content's good for you guys. If you have any comments or anything you want to see more, let us know. Uh, we're just trying to help everybody understand what we're doing and enjoy the videos. So, again, share, like, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys.